What is up everyone, Boshi here with another quick Marvel Snap card discussion for you guys, but first, if you didn't know, we do have a new season coming up tomorrow on April 3rd called Animals Assemble. I'll go ahead and throw the banner up on the screen for you guys, but the season pass card coming with it is Hitmonkey, and you're going to be able to earn some really cool card backs and variants for Goose and Cosmo, so I definitely don't think you want to miss out on this, so I hope you guys jump in and have some fun. Now, Hitmonkey is not the card I want to discuss today, but the card I do want to discuss today is going to be the first card released during the season and that is Jeff the baby land shark look at him in all his glory he has some awesome variants guys and I honestly think he is going to be a really cool card for a lot of people to get which is why I wish he wasn't a series 5 card but I thought I would discuss him anyway just in case people want to save up for this card which I do think he's definitely going to be worth now, if you don't know what Jeff does, he has the effect of you can move this once, so very similar to Nightcrawler in that regard, and this isn't the part I want to talk too much about, but I do want to mention that anything you apply to Nightcrawler, you can pretty much apply to Jeff. Now, the second part, nothing can stop you from moving or playing this to any location. Now, this part is going to be really cool and unique and actually help out in a lot of things. Now. First off, he is going to make a big splash in specific decks, but I do think he's actually going to be a really cool tech card in general, and that's just because we have a lot of restrictive locations, which is, I know, a big pain point for a lot of the Marvel Snap community, and I came up with a bunch of locations that he is going to do well with. So first off, we have something like Crimson Cosmo, where you get the restriction of you can't play one, two, or three costs. Well, Jeff is a two cost, but you are going to be able to play him in there. You have stuff like the flooded area after the second turn from Storm where it's locked down. Well, Jeff can get played into there without actually playing him in another location and then moving him so you can make a last minute uh, or a last turn play with him. You have stuff like Clint and Vault which get locked down after specific turns. Well, yeah, you can move him in there as well. Like I said, the movement restriction isn't the big deal. It's the fact that you can play him into those areas directly. So uh, Clint and Vault, you can make that surprise play with Jeff. Um, Sanctorum Sanctum where you're restricted and typically the only way you can get into those are like Doom or Squirrel Girl or something like that. Jeff can just get placed in there and stuff like plunder castle where you have the restriction of a six cost being played in there which a lot of people are waving away from right a lot of people like the low curve decks well jeff can go right in and then one i do have a question about is something like space throne obviously you can play jeff there to be a placeholder so you don't get green goblin or hobgoblin or whatever and then move him out but i am curious if they're going to allow us to play something and then also play jeff there since that restriction might be void due to jeff but we'll see i highly doubt that one's going to be allowed um, but yeah, that is the list of locations that I think he's going to be awesome with. And these are all locations that you see, see pretty often, right? We see Flooded because a lot of people play Storm. You see Clint and Vault pretty pretty regularly, I would say. And then you have the annoyance of Sanctorum, Sanctum and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I think this is going to be, like I said, a great tech card uh, for that type of thing just because we do see these locations often. Now, along with locations, you do have some cards that he's going to work very well with um, in which I think a lot of people are excited about. So first off, we've already talked about it, but Storm, obviously with the flooded zone, um, you are going to be able to play him in there. But one that a lot of people have been excited about is Professor X. So Professor X is one of those risk reward type plays, unless you're uh, playing Daredevil where you know uh, where you can play Professor X. If you play Professor X blind and they happen to play something into that location, you kind of screw yourself out of winning that location. But Jeff is actually going to be able to move in or out of that area along with being played into that area directly which is going to be really cool and actually makes C3 a heck of a lot better in my opinion. Um, so that's going to be a really cool interaction. You have something like Ebony Ma, where people typically will play something like Claw or Doom to get into there. Well, now you can actually do 
um, Jeff as well. Obviously, you can move, but you can play him directly on top of Ebony Maw. And then he is going to be another enabler for Miles Morales, and just in general in movement decks, right? Movement is going to get another, another effective movement card, which is always a very good addition to the game. Uh, but yeah, that is all I found on Jeff. Now, obviously, all this stuff is subject to change as we haven't got any official discussion, I guess, on Jeff. Uh, but those are the things that I kind of found and I think are really, really cool with this card. And hopefully it convinces some people to, you know, save up some tokens and play around with him. Um, he is going to make a big splash as a tech card, like I said, but things like Lockdown Decks C3 are going to be very popular with him, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you guys are saving up for him. I know a lot of people were just excited for him just because he sounded like a cool card and he's Jeff. <laughs> so um, yeah, let me know if any other cards you guys want me to discuss or talk about. Um, I did want to go over and do a lot more of these, but I thought this was a good opportunity to do something for a future card. Uh, but yeah, I, uh, let me know what you guys think and I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.